creating an open workplace in an academic medical center in order to foster innovation, collaboration, and civility. My name is Dr. Hope Ricciotti. I am the chair in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. which is one of the training hospitals for Harvard Medical School in Boston, Massachusetts. We needed more academic space for our expanding faculty. Our workspace did not encourage collaboration or innovation. We had traditional offices and no shared common space. We had private and semi-private offices. Many were rarely used, and some were never even unpacked since our big, busy faculty were in their clinical activities. We did a space study on 20 weekdays, and we found that one-third of the offices were never used. And even at peak occupancy, which was at midday, only 25% were used. We therefore decided to get rid of our private offices and to design an open workspace. And we looked to the business world for some ideas. We looked to Google with their famous open space that promotes innovation. Designed for the interactions that you want to occur, said Steve Jobs from Apple whose innovative open space model has promoted all kinds of innovations. A Harvard Business Review emphasized proximity and privacy, so we were careful to set up a traffic pattern that started by our main conference room, entered past our new kitchen, and traffic flowed past the chair suite. We organized our divisions and programs into neighborhoods and clustered them together. But we also were careful to insert team or conference rooms close by. That way, it was easy to have a private conversation in the moment. We had enough space to create a state-of-the-art conference room for our teaching conferences and many team or huddle rooms and a beautiful open kitchen. We encouraged mingling in the kitchen by offering hot beverages. We installed the curry and always stocked coffee and tea and lots of interactions happen in the kitchen now. We wanted to be green, so we purchased China. We implemented a weekly cleaning schedule, and our teams included doctors because we wanted to flatten hierarchy. We included a recycling center to make it easy to keep this space pristine. We installed an electronic message board that can be viewed from the kitchen as one enters the space. We make announcements, congratulate our staff, put fun quotes of the day, and are sure to promote our trainees and faculty that are presenting at national meetings. The traffic pattern walks by the chair suite upon entry into the space. The walls are transparent, but we glazed over a few of the team rooms to ensure privacy for difficult or private meetings. But most are still left open. Huddle and conference rooms have electronic booking that can be done ahead of time, but can also be done in the moment for a quick private meeting. Here is one of our faculty teaching our medical students. Chance encounters are common. It promotes innovation and collaboration. One huddle room has a pull-out couch so physicians can sleep in there overnight in cases of Boston's bad weather or if one has a sick patient in the ICU that needs attending to. Our trainees have desks in this space. They used to be scattered all over the hospital. And now we bump into them all the time in the kitchen and at their desks. And it promotes all kinds of new ideas and interactions. We think it promotes civility. Our open workspace flattens hierarchy and promotes communication. We predict that the space may improve coordination of patient care 
by improving communication. It may even improve teamwork, and we think it definitely promotes innovation.